Hello, this is channel LayerRace.com and today I will sh quickly show you how to make this a flat style Christmas snowflake background and this is a looped video as you can see so let's begin new composition 60 frames per second and 10 seconds long Okay, first of all, let's import the sprite that I will be using for this tutorial. So I have a snowflake. You can use your own snowflake. You can download, search and download from Google. The file must be in PNG format and must have transparency. So you have only a snowflake shape. Okay, let's begin. Let's drag and drop into our project file so we have a snake snowflake here snake and select snowflake and drag and on this icon and drop it now in the effects and preset presets search for fill select fill drag on your snowflake change color to white and close this down okay now drag and drop into our, into our main composition yes. main comp select new solid and this particles and i will be using cc particle world plugin built-in inside after effects actually i am using cs6 after effects so this plugin is is not very powerful it's very simple you can't do too many good things with it but you can do something with it so okay let's see Okay, let's go to physics, velocity, let's change to 0 0.01, gravity to 0 0.01, longevity to 8 seconds, birth rate 1, go to producer and change x radius to 0 0.6, y radius to 0 and z radius to 0 0.1 and drag this upward so we produce so we emitter this is our emitter right here and emitter should be off the screen okay go now let's change our particle change particle type to textured quad polygon and now go to texture select our snowflake let's change rotation rotation axis on z okay size variation let's make 100 and let's change maybe 0 0.2 for the size opacity let's make 100 um actually no let's leave opacity at 75 okay let's add a background right now in the g search for fill drag and drop on our background fill effect change color to light gray like this now select particles layer go to layer layer styles drop shadow now go to drop shadow options change opacity to 25 
Okay. And actually that's it for the first part. Now let's make our animation looped. So we have to select a frame where the snowflakes fill full the, the full screen. That's around 8 seconds. And place your cursor around 8 seconds and go to layer, add marker and drag this marker to the start of your timeline and expand our animation okay now let's duplicate our layer go to the last frame and drag this marker Actually, you can zoom in and zoom out in the timeline using plus and minus. So I will zoom in a little bit. And you have to place this marker one frame past the end of animation. Like this. So the first frame and the last frame is the same. Now go to... 10 seconds mark, select your first layer of particles and go to CC Particle World, hit stopwatch on birth rate and now go forward one frame. To go forward one frame, press page down and enter zero. So you have here two frames, one with a birth rate 1 and second with a birth rate 0. You can press U and zoom in using plus and that's it. 1 and 0. Okay. And let's look. First frame and last frame are looping. Now let's make an error layer. Select your first layer of particles, you hit Ctrl D, drag it to the top of animation. Also, let's go to project and select snowflake composition and hit Ctrl D and drag it in your timeline. And let's change this to a simple circle like this. and remove the snowflake you can change color but let's leave at white and make this invisible select your top layer and go to particle world settings and select particle change texture to snowflake 2 and go to extras, change random seed, enter 10, um, Why does it change I don't understand. Oh, the After Effects were glitching out. Okay, sometimes if something doesn't work, it doesn't look how it should, you change the preview mode, preview resolution mode. let's change to half okay let's select top layer particle let's press u and select first frame and let's 
maybe decrease a little bit 0 0.7 and go to particle also and change size 0 0.1 for both birth and death and again I already have keyframes set for this layer just select this and press ctrl D and drag this again past one frame like before and it's that's it thank you for watching I will leave a description where and where you can download the project file on my website so search for it in the video description and if you like the video leave a like and thanks for thank you for watching and goodbye